When using your view board, you're probably going to want to update the firmware from time to time. Now, by default, when the board turns on, auto updates are configured, and we can access that by going into our menu, scrolling down to settings, choosing system, and then system update. So you'll notice here that auto update is turned on. Now this is an OTA or over the air update. So essentially what the board does is every time it turns off, it will auto check for any firmware updates. If it detects a firmware update, it will then download it and install it. This is the easiest way to update the firmware on your view board. The cool thing about this too, is that it doesn't erase any of your local data. It just applies the updates, kind of like how your phone would update. Now, maybe there's a uh, reason that is preventing you from not getting on the internet or uh, the OTA server may not be working correctly and maybe you wanna do a manual update. You'll notice that there's an, uh, the ability to do a local update, but we need to download the firmware pack for this specific board. And the way that we do that is we actually have to find the label on the backside of the view board. The reason why we're looking for this label is it has some important information on it. So the first thing you're gonna see is the designation IFP. This stands for Interactive Flat Panel. Next is gonna be followed by a number, maybe 55, 65, uh, 75, 86, or 98. Those numbers are describing the size of the board. So this one here, this is a 65 inch, so it's an IFP 65. Following the size numbers, you're gonna see another set of numbers uh, that are gonna say something like 50 or 52. This is the series of the board. So right behind me, this is a 50 series board. So this is what we call an IFP 6550. Now next to that, depending on the generation of that board, you're gonna see another number. So if it's the first generation, there's not gonna be a number. It's just gonna say IFP 6550. Uh, but this one is actually our third generation board. So it actually says IFP 6550-3 or Gen 3. All this information is really important because we need to go and search for that model number in order to get our firmware. So you can see here, I have already searched just here in Google for IFP 6550-3. Now this is really important. Make sure in your search results that you go to the ViewSonic website and not another website like Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this link and we're just gonna scroll down here a little bit and you're going to see a section that says download. There's gonna be a lot of things like user guides and other things you can download, but what we're looking for are these firmware packs right here. And uh, this also allows you to see and you can check uh, what the latest version of the firmware is. So for example, you can see here uh, that this is labeled 2023 uh, 0407. So this is actually the uh, latest released April 7th, uh, 2023. And the way that you can check the version that your board is on is you can actually go again to those settings on the Viewboard OS under system. Instead of uh, going to system update, you can check about device. And right here where it says build number, if you read this very closely uh, down here, you'll see that it says 2023 uh, 0407. So I can actually tell that this board is on the latest firmware because it matches uh, the date that is on the website for those downloads. So let's go back to our website. And you'll notice here that there are a couple different firmware versions. One says uh, CT2 and then one says nothing. So what I'm looking for, again, on that back label is it, uh, to tell me uh, what type of board this is, uh, just because they can sometimes come from different factories. So uh, if your board says CT2, it's really important that you download the CT2 firmware. If it doesn't say CT2 or anything, then you just want the regular firmware and you're good to go. So I've already downloaded this and I've put it on my flash drive and this is the way that you manually install uh, the firmware. So first things first, don't unzip it, just put it locally on the flash drive. Let's go back to the Viewboard OS and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my USB into the board, but it's really important that we don't use the front USBs or the side USBs. We actually wanna use this USB that's on the bottom and we'll see if I can get it in on the first time or we'll switch it around here. You're gonna get a notification that says, do you wanna open folders? We're just gonna go ahead and 
cancel. And let's go back to our settings. We're gonna to go to system, system update. And right here, you can see that I can now browse and then choose my flash drive. So you'll get this window here. Just go to your hamburger menu at the top because right now we're in our recents folder. And then I'm gonna use the flash drive. And then you'll notice here, I can select this firmware. And now what it's gonna do is it's going to prepare that firmware update and then install it. The cool thing about this is just like an OTA update, it's not going to erase all of my local data and it will uh, power off the device, reboot it and install the latest firmware. Now, other than the OTA update and the manual update, there might be a time where uh, you can't access that system. So maybe there's something wrong with the Viewboard OS, uh, obviously you can't access the internet or those kinds of things. Uh, we can do it using the debug menu uh, in the Viewboard OS system. Now, in order to do this update method, you're gonna need to take that zip file in the flash drive and you're gonna need to extract it. Okay, just leave it there um, on the top level folder, but you do need to extract the zip file. Uh, what you're gonna do then is you're going to take the remote that came with your view board and we're going to press the input or source button and then 991, this will activate the debug menu. So it's input 991 and you'll get the debug menu. And what we're looking for is this option up here that says upgrade. And you'll notice that you'll see different uh, upgrade options. Uh, we're actually just going to do the uh, upgrade all. And what that'll do is that it will access the flash drive and then install the firmware from the flash drive. Again, make sure it's unzipped. This method will wipe everything. So it's kind of like a factory reset. So uh, after the install, you will have to set up the view board again.